Hello, and to those of you joining for the first time, welcome to my ongoing quest to not fix the number system as I continue to try and keep you equipped. This is Aspire 2, Operation 3, Sky High, the second video in our All Weapons Guide. Now, as per usual, we're going to be playing on story difficulty so that we're going to have the laser sight activated on all of our weapons. Though, alternatively, if you're playing as Sooty, like I am here, your laser is also the secondary trigger function. Now, we're playing as Sooty so that we can just walk past some stealth areas like we did right before the elevator because I refuse to get good at stealth. Hitting a left right up the lobby, up the stairs, we are going to take out this guard and we're going to go back through to the far back corner and here we're going to find the TACT-6 silenced shotgun. This is going to be our main weapon for most of the run, but we're going to put it away immediately to climb the scaffolding into this small air vent that only Sooty can fit through. Following it down to the end and hitting a right, we're going to see the sawn off shotgun, which we will probably use significantly less because of course it's not silenced. Now that we have the TAC-6 silenced shotgun, however, it should be pretty easy to yeah. go back and clear through all of the remaining guards in the room, which is going to make it nice and easy for you to complete the hacking sequence. So, going back over, now that we're in the clear... Uh, hold on. There we go. Now that we're in the clear, we can complete our little tippy-tapping in peace and move on to the next one. The corner at the back of the room leads to a hallway that takes you right to the next sequence. There appear to be three guards in this room, but be careful, one of these guards is not like the other, and it does need to just be left alone. So, now that we've completed this one, we're on towards the last one, going through the hallway, and opposite the bunks, you'll find a little area we can scoot under, and then go through to the left, disarming the sensor bomb, to climb the metal cage at the back, and pick up the FL9 auto pistol. Now, like the previous rooms, it should be fairly straightforward for us to clear out the guards and make our way over to the laptop, which again, will be able to use in peace now that the room's empty actually for real this time. After this, we're going to go back the way we came towards the room we were previously in with the no-no guard. We may have to clear this room a little bit as well as this is going to contain our path forwards. Through the newly opened door, you're going to find a number of guards that you can either dispose of or simply sneak past. Again, moving along and staying low, we can scoot past the sentry and up the stairs. If you're playing this in sections, that's where the first mission to Operation 3 finishes. Now, up the stairs, we're going to see the FL Tactical Pistol, which is going to be the second last of the guns we're actually looking to acquire here. Of course, most of the guards have the MZ-23 or RZ Scorpio, but this is not the time we're going to be trying to pick them up. Instead, keep going until you get to the office pit, and if we go off the ledge into the pit, we're going to hit an immediate right and duck under the table to one-handed climb the red pipe here. There is a little outcropping right near the top, so if you don't quite make it, you can use that shelf for a little bit of assistance to help free up your hands. Now, once we're up here, we are going to follow the air ducts through to the other side to get to the mezzanine on the other side of the office and go backwards. This is where we are going to find the FL416 rifle. Now we just have to complete the rest of the operation and we're going to drop down to the left and follow the long way around here. This is going to give us a little bit of cover when we come down the stairs back to the office pit where we can use some of the objects for cover as we wait for the opportunity to hit the elevator button and just wait and hide for a little bit. 
respectively. Your shotgun is really good at taking out the Mark 1s, but it is fairly unnecessary. So as we go to progress the plot, we're going to come back to this table here and we're going to go into settings and turn off automatic holster, making sure to apply that if you haven't already. Then we're going to take our guns and set them down on the table here. That's just because something that progresses the plot may or may not deactivate your Aspire unit and you're going to want to be able to get those guns again to continue. So, starting back up, we are going to go back into our settings, turn automatic holster back on, make sure to hit apply, and then grab our hard-earned weapons so that we can continue. Around the corner here, you are going to see, just on the left, a tactic shotgun and the FL9 tactical pistol, but of course we already have the FL9, and have unlocked the taxes in a previous video. Because we have two weapons that don't have a slot that we can carry them in, you're going to find yourself picking them up and putting them down a lot to do things like operate pulleys or use Aspire Vision. It's good to know where you can put those items down safely. This next area only features one active enemy robot, so we can take them out quietly and then stay to our left disarming the sensor trip mines at the end here. Now, we're going to need to do a little bit of climbing, and it's easiest if we just find a good spot to set our weapons down, and then go back to climb over the stacks of construction items to get to the pulley and bring it in line so that we can progress, making sure to pick up our weapons before we proceed any further. Once we're through the door, over the barricade, and down the hall, we're going to find a very similar situation coming up. However, this time we can discard our weapons just before the pulley and come back to retrieve them in short order. From here, we can pick our weapons back up and stay again to the left-hand side until we get to these boxes, which we can use for cover. And as the patrolling mech walks by, as long as you have a full 100% on your Aspire Instinct, Sooty should be able to waltz past everybody with exactly a complete charge. Next, we're going to have to get past a very tricky series of buttons, doors, and trip mines. And once we're through, we're going to find ourselves in the final stretch of the level. Operate the pulley until you hear the enemies begin to react, and then you can take this time to simply clean up the area. Once you've achieved a little bit of peace and quiet once more, you can then return to the pulley and bring your precious cargo all the way to the top. Then you have a clear shot between there and running to the end of the level, where we find ourselves on the rooftop awaiting pickup. If done correctly, you should have unlocked the FL9 auto pistol, the FL9 tactical pistol, the sawn-off shotgun, the FL416 rifle, and the TACT-6 suppressed shotgun. Be sure to check out the other videos in the series and the overview video if you need help finding the rest of the weapons in the game.